BS 17 was there as the first family to emerge from last month's dramatic U.S. military withdrawal touchdown at RDU. CBS 17's Lillian Donnie, who joins us live. Lillian, you were there at the airport. Describe to us the first few moments for this family. Well, good evening, guys. I spoke to this Afghan family just minutes after they arrived here at the Raleigh Durham terminal. They expressed relief, excitement, and some uncertainty about the unknown they're stepping into. Relief organizations also were here to welcome them. They only had seven hours' notice of their arrival. And for the safety of the loved ones still back in Afghanistan, we will not be sharing the names or the faces of the five that arrived tonight. Tonight, wheels touch down to a new life for five Afghan refugees. I believe my dream came through the moment it landed. Yeah, because I waited for this for a long time. This man helped the United States for decades in Afghanistan. He and his family fled the Kabul airport on August 19th, just days after the city fell to the Taliban. Everybody, people who work, people who didn't work, everybody was in panic because of uh, because of the takeover by Taliban. He did have a familiar face in the airport tonight. Brian Morris, an old friend and retired special ops soldier, he worked alongside with in Afghanistan for years. Of everything that's happened and all, all the horrible things that happened, Happened. This is probably the, the best thing that's happened that's come out of this entire experience. Somebody like uh, a guide for me, a brother, a big brother for me, and, and uh, it's, it's really great. It's feeling really great to be here. Moore says he already has a job lined up for his friend, and relief organizations are putting together housing and basic needs beyond the few bags they came with. That if anybody deserves to be an American and live the American dream, it's guys like this that fought so hard with us for so many years. The man has family back in Afghanistan. His message to them: to not give up. I just pray for them. They just uh, they kind of on their own for right now, and then uh, but it's not over. It's not over with the bad guys. And now comes another chapter in their journey to get acclimated here in Raleigh. The U.S. Committee for Refugees and Immigrants says although they're the first one that they're taking in, there's many more to come. The state expects more than 1,100 Afghan evacuees over the next six months. Reporting live in the Raleigh-Durham Airport, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, thanks, Lillian. What an emotional moment. We wish them all the best.